I'm a very busy person, but somehow I had enough time to make these laminated black sesame scones. I've never made a scone, and I think the only one I've eaten is that vanilla bean one from Starbucks, because they're like, what, a dollar? 50 cents? I don't know, inflation in Canada is crazy now. And they were all right, you know? You can't go wrong with vanilla. But to me, there's just something missing. It's gotta be the butter. The flakiness is like, non-existent. And I think that's what we're going for when we eat a scone. I'm not too sure. Whether it's right or it's wrong, a flaky pastry can't be bad. Especially if there's layers of chocolate in between the flakes. If you've ever made a croissant, you'd be familiar with this method. But except instead of butter between the layers, we're using a semi-sweet chocolate and black sesame paste mixture. I saw this method used by The Cooking Tree on YouTube, but I decided to give it my own flair by adding the black sesame part because it's one of my favorite flavors. Once you've folded it three times, you pop it in the freezer for a little bit, trim the excess, and then you cut it into six. Yeah, it doesn't make that many, but like I know you're going to eat them all right away anyway, so this is probably better for you. And yeah, mission accomplished. These were very flaky. Best scones I've ever made.